Chivo. Triple Chivo. Triple Chivo. Fuck that game. And and yay for Lance Henriksen being totally awesome. Always. Phoning in, not phoning it in. He is whatever. Lance Henriksen. Lance Henriksen for the win. Yeah. Also, when there's two of you in the room, you notice when one of you is not breathing, when you've been tortured to the edge of insanity, it's like, oh, oh my god, the pain. Hmm. He doesn't appear to have a respiratory function. How odd. I will remember this for the future. Fuck. Look at this giant list of names. Like, this is like the beginning of the credits. Normally the huge list of names comes at the end of the credits. Did they not did they not have the budget to space out the credits? They didn't have a budget for much else. Just the Well, there he is, Randy Pitchford, the man, the myth, the legend. I do think it's kind of neat that he just the put his name... The responsible party. <laughs> I do think it's kind of neat that he just put his name in there with everyone else. It wasn't like, super awesome guy that ruined aliens. Randy Pitchford! Yeah, well, it's alphabetical. What would mean, you know, have made this game a lot better? If it could have been like, oh, oh, no, no, you did not just hit him with Gearbox Quality Assurance Team. You did not. <laughs> Good job, everyone. <laughs> Go team. <laughs> How is the list this long? Like, are there are there duplicating names? No. It's like they didn't actually want to put who did the AI and who did the casting and all the other stuff because they just... No one wanted to be identified. No. You know what? Except for Pitchford, I bet this is just a giant list of aliases. It's like, what's that name that directors put on movies they don't want to be associated with? <laughs> I was just trying to remember it. I can't at the moment. <sighs> Alan Smithy. Alan Smithy, right. Gearbox babies, you have been born into terrible fit. No, that's too much. That's that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> the only the only person with a military rank that I saw in the credits was J R O T C. <laughs> he was clearly their uh, their go to resource guy. This is our uh, our advisor, Ura to Ashes. Yeah, so we were hoping that maybe... Ura! Yeah, so we were hoping that maybe you could give us a little ashes insight on Ura! How things ashes work in the military. <laughs> Ura. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, this is you. Shaddix, one, to shoot an underbell grenade at a xenomorph at close range in order to prevent from killing the marine, and only, the, only for the marine and xenomorph to both die. Shaddixed. Yup. Like, all these... Nice anecdote from David Eddings in there about his father letting him watch Alien when he was nine and a movie theater employee looking the other way when he was 15 and bought a ticket to Aliens. I feel bad for these people, honestly, in a way. Because there was obviously... There was love that went into this game. It's You can, you can see it. But it's like... It's like, it's like that creepy guy who, and, who decided to collect dolls. And then he hung them from trees. And now there's an island full of creepy dolls just hanging from trees. <laughs> it's like the intent was it's there. A cool story, bro. The intent was there, but it's, you know, the goal got lost along the way.
Is everyone going to have a thanks? They always do this. I've never beaten a Gearbox game. Well, it's, this, this is standard to most video games nowadays. This is probably one of the longest credits I've sat through. To, thanks to all of the UKCM and USCM who helped us in the development and presentation of ACM. What? What, is that, what does that stand for, UKCM? United, United Kingdom Colonial Marines? So we're not actually talking about real, real military folks here, I yeah, guess. I don't know. Oh man, they're all coming back again. Did you did attach names? Because to you, because. Oh, there we go. Animation. Ha! <laughs> Additional animation. See, maybe you should get new jobs, ha! Huh? Maybe you should have moved that some people from that giant list of names. There we and go. Stuck more of them into the whole. Here we go. Lead thing. environment art. Thomas Woods. Good job. Environment art. These dudes. Good job. Good job. Additional environment art. Good job. These dudes. Good job. Technical art? Yeah, you know what? Art? Absolutely. Sure. Yep. Oh, except, I'm there. Except for that guy that did the art for the rocket launcher projectile and its splash damage. Or maybe that visual yeah, that effects. was terrible. Jeremy Baldwin, you should be ashamed that... of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Lead level design. What do we do? Eh. Hire or fire? I don't know. I, oh, I'm, 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 I'm not so... Someone made that decision for us. Okay. You know, I really probably should not. It, it's kind of... It's rough. Like, I know development was rough, and I, I'm definitely taking the piss out of these guys, but... You know, they tried? It's better than Alien I told you what I think NES. happens. I... I told you what I think happened. I think that, that they all thought someone else was going to finish what they were doing. Yeah. And then nothing got finished. Yeah. That might be it right there. But I mean, what not, is not, not what is really someone... not forgivable is all of the thank yous in the credits because someone must have played this prior to launch. Yeah. I mean, and it's not like, funny really? to lose your job. It's not. Like, I'm, I'm joking around about it. I'm like, haha, you guys got fired because it was so bad. Like, the Timegate development babies, their parents don't have an income anymore. That's not funny. That's sad. And I feel sad for them. Oh, and they dedicated Suit it to yourself. Some, they dedicated it to someone. Henry Reed Zenner deserved... Didn't, he deserved better. <laughs> Indeed. See, I'm a, I am a firm believer that, you know, you keep your job if you do your job. So... That's my takeaway. Yeah, that's true. But did, did they have a fair shake at finishing this thing? Or did things break down and they really never had a chance? There are a lot of studios that worked on this. Holy crap. Yes. Nerve and well, Demiurge, that's, that's what the, Time I think, Gate. Yeah, whatever. You're, that's you're, what I think the problem yeah, was. Yeah, I, I'm beginning to agree with you. This doesn't, like, this doesn't end. Oh yeah, this is going to go on forever. This is going to be so much longer than even a, a usual video game's credits because, yeah, I mean, remember the opening roll around before you even get into the game. There's like eight different splash screens for companies. I've actually blocked that from my memory. I have blocked the advertisements. I started fast. Shadows in Darkness? It, it just doesn't stop. So many people. I mean, this illustrates a big issue with AAA game developers now. I mean, if you want me to list games that I've really enjoyed lately, it's it's indie stuff like uh, Faster Than yep. Light. Yup. By the way, viewers, if you haven't played Faster Than Light, you should play Faster Than Light. It's nothing like this game. In fact, you might not like. You know what? Go find a demo of Faster Than Light, or find an LP, or watch my LP. <laughs> Chill. Michael Bine and Lance Henriksen, thank you. Yeah, thanks. We hey, appreciate your sacrifice. There you are. What? Drake and Apone. Wait, Hudson? I'm pretty sure Andrew Bowen didn't play Hudson. 
In fact, I'm 100% sure. Bill Paxton, you got gypped. Guess they couldn't get Bill Paxton. You know what? The, you know what to fix this game. Nolan North. There's a definite lack of Nolan North in this game. Someone dropped the ball. Holy crap! One of the voice directors is named Cal L. Cal L. I don't. Bogdanov. Even... That's not even a production baby. That's like some guy with a job named Cal L. Here comes Sega, because you know, it's like they literally threw people at this game and, and hoped that someone would finish it. Yep. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you play through the DLC. Mary Disbrow. <laughs> Sorry, inside joke. That's fine. Well, it's over. I just want to have a nap. We're free. I just want to have a nap. And forget about all this. Happy Halloween 2013, viewers! Yeah! Join us next time for Fear 3. What? 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 What do you mean, Fear 3? What? No. No more bad horror games. No. But but we must. It's not funny when when I when I make people play horror games with me, it's funny. When other people make me play horror games with them, it's just not funny. It's horrible. We are called to duty, my friend. We have begun upon the path walked by great men. Yeah, off, you know, tall buildings to a merciful, splattery demise. Also, if, if there are... Ura to ashes. No, no, no. Sega of Europe. Because we need more countries involved in this, too. All of Europe couldn't save this game, viewers. This is the longest credit sequence ever. Well, it shouldn't, yeah, well, it shouldn't surprise you. By the way, what is that in the background? Uh, I can't tell. I think maybe it's the alien queen to the left, and maybe a, a cryo tube, or a light to the right. I'd... what my brain looks like right now. Fair enough. Indistinct and fuzzy. I thought this would be good for a laugh or two, but I'm just not laughing anymore. No, it's it, you know, it's it's just distressing. I mean this, this was a friend of mine actually said to me, a, fr a friend of mine actually said this to me. He said yeah, but if it wasn't an Aliens game, it would be okay. No. No. And I said, no. No. Not not even a little bit. Like, that is not what the situation is here. Like, there are Final Fantasy games that would be perfectly good games if they were not labeled Final Fantasy. That is not the situation that's going on here at all. This wouldn't even be a competent first-person shooter. I mean, when you, when you add no. in the fact that... It's not a competent first person. It's terrible. Yeah, when you add in the fact this is the Fox-approved, for whatever that's worth, licensed sequel, like... Yeah, you hear about games getting canned at the last minute all the time. What went wrong that let this see light? I assume there was some kind of you finish it or we sue you scenario involved. Like, you have to deliver us this game because we've given you all this money. Or we want all this money back, plus compensation for wasting our goddamn time. Like, I've wasted my goddamn time. 
And yours. And yours, viewers. Ah, uh, my time isn't wasted. I think this is taking longer game. than the last level has. <laughs> yep, I think we're approaching that point. And you know what, there's not even going to be a stinger. Like, you know, all of the Marines sitting around a table in New York eating shawarma. Well, if there was a lawsuit, there's your guy. Senior Vice President, Business and Legal Affairs, Richard Borsini. Oh, here comes Fox. I could colonize a planet with all these people. Like you could, you could. I think we're out of sync. Oh, you know what? I bet that would explain the audio and visual problems we've been having. Mostly audio problems. I like how the credits for Stasis Interrupter are here, even though I actually haven't purchased it yet. That's interesting. It wasn't day, day one DLC, was it? I don't think so. I think it was the last bit of DLC to come out. Oh my god, I just want to take a drill to my forehead and end this. You are drinking, right? No, I am stone cold goddamn sober. Oh no, man. What? Why? I make poor choices. Just see this game. Why? Uh. I'll get there, I'll get there. I could probably go and, and mix it and mix a drink and come back. In fact, I could probably go no down doubt. to the bank, secure financing, start a distillery, make my own beer, come back, and this would still be fucking going. Or oh. or I could fly to France oh. and get some grapes. And, you know, mash the grapes and let it ferment and come back with a bottle of wine. Oh, thank God, all the ads are back. This must be the end. Copyright 2012 Monster Energy Company. I don't even. Uh, yeah, I had no idea what that's about. So close. So close. I can, I can taste the end. Oh, I know it's not real. It's a game. All that for mission complete. Mission complete. But look on the bright side, it really is mission complete. We never have to return to this again. Ha. <sighs> well, viewers. Yeah. This was a thing. I've complained all my complaints. I could keep going, but I don't see the point. I really don't. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the two. Thank you very much, viewers. I hope you enjoyed the 2013 Halloween special, and we'll see you next year with something incredibly terrible. See you then. Oh, and thank you, of course, to look forward to it. DMZ2112 for sticking it out with me and making this closer to bearable. Thanks, man. It has been a pleasure. We were to ashes. Oorah to ashes. Have a good time, viewers.